This water bottle was one of the biggest surprises from our Back to School Will It DTF series. I really didn't expect it to stick. But just because it's stuck doesn't mean it's durable to withstand normal use. I don't expect it to hold up too well. But then again, I was surprised earlier. However, I am gonna try to give it the best chance for success. So I'm going to spray half of it with a clear coat and leave half of it untreated. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So it looks like it's kind of peeling or puckering a little bit there. And we'll see how it holds up. Uh-oh. Some of it stayed on so we can still kind of test, but oof, a lot of it came off. Let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up and come on, who's with me, huh? It's obvious that it didn't hold up well when we put tape on it. Uh, even the clear coat area uh, had some peel off. But I was blown away with the results after running through the dishwasher. I really didn't expect it to hold up at all. But both the clear coat side and shockingly the non-coated side seemed to hold up really well. Looking at this, I think I might be able to make a viable water bottle using DTF. What stuck and what didn't seemed to be really random. I wonder if there was maybe some oil on the bottle, like oil from my skin or maybe something from manufacturing. Maybe if I cleaned it really well with alcohol, the transfer might stick better. Also, the Mini Cricut likely gave me some uneven heat and pressure. I bet using a mug heat press would help give me more consistent pressure. I'm gonna take some of those ideas and in a future video, try to make the perfect custom DTF water bottle. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that and any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.